What do y'all? This your girl Star J Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Happy Good Friday, y'all. We at the end of the week. Hopefully, y'all ain't got to work tomorrow. Y'all can relax and put up your put your feet up, sip you some wine, sip you a beer or whatever you have. But um, are y'all gonna stream Latasha's gospel album? Let me know in the comment section below. Are y'all gonna stream? Her album, y'all need to go stream it because she gonna need all the coins, all the funds she can get messing with Rocky, you know, and all his boy ass and stuff she then came out with as well. So I checked out that uh afraid video she put out today. It's it's a little bop. You know, I can I can roll with it. I like it. I ain't even gonna cap. I like it. But it's supposed to be towards God. And the feel and the vibe I was getting from that song was nowhere near. <laughs> and the lyrics at that was nowhere near towards, you know, a conversation with the Lord. It's like she was having a conversation with a man. Or hell, let's just say Rocky. And then she implemented all the stuff that was going on in social media. I don't know. That's just the way I seen it. That was my opinion. And I'm like, you trying to do secular music or gospel tasha i'm confused but um yeah y'all definitely go check that latasha scott video out called afraid and let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below so your girl was scrolling and scrolling on instagram and i had seen one of the bloggers repost the sherry shepherd swv interview and y'all if y'all didn't see that video definitely go check out my video i did on it and you can click the link right here up at the top right hand corner so you can see it but um, basically, they were just saying, you know, the relationship with them, because Sherry, she had asked, what's our relationship now, you know, since everything done hit social media and stuff like that. And it was just like, they felt disrespected. You know, it shouldn't be like crabs in a bucket. We all should be coming together and stuff like that. And then the craziest thing, I think it was when um Sherry Shepard had asked, uh, are y'all going to go on tour? Like, what's going on with that? <laughs> and Coco and Taj turned their heads to Lily, like, you gonna answer that? Or shall we? But then Lily, you know, um, chimed in, then they, of course, they chimed in and stuff like that. But I was looking at people's comments, and I was like, what the hell? So I wanted to see if y'all felt the same way, you know, my viewers, my peoples. So one commenter said, like Tiny said, SWV won't weep to end the show, and Escape won't understand it to end the show. Neither group is saying anything different. So why do they feel like Escape is the problem for not giving in if they don't want to give in either? LOL. Another person said, y'all need them more than they need y'all. Let's talk fast. Album sales, they going off our SWV five albums versus escape three albums so it's not albums to albums with a million difference escape has been hand headlining their own tour swv has not social plays a part in the bigger fan base that escape brings can help launch them to be seen by new fans take feelings out and talk business especially lily because yeah lily has been definitely been going in on twitter who had to live in her car when the group broke up, go figures. She's saying never say never. Oh, Lord. The disrespect wasn't one-sided, boo. Another person said they merely had a business disagreement. The ones being the most disrespectful were Coco and Lily, especially on social media. All Candy and Tiny did was explain their position. This type of ish is annoying as elf to me because nothing Candy said was personal. And the public feeds into it because half the public doesn't even handle business properly either. Well, damn, throw shots at us then? Okay, another person said, I see they took tiny advice and stepped their look up. They need to thank my girls for platform. <laughs> what? For platforming them? Not step their look up. Okay, and this last one said, When was SWV rude or shady first? From the very beginning, Tyre stated she had an idea for the two to collide and create a show for the culture. That is, was... That is was to be even all the way through. The first meeting, Escape says they won't top billing on an idea that was brought to them. And after it was already implied that everything would be equal. 
even in the meeting, all the me members of SWV kept trying to compromise. The comment Coco made about selling 30 million records was after Candy was wasn't backing down about both groups getting 50 50 and she was talking to her bandmates privately because she couldn't fathom opening for someone who sold less recorded than her once escape tried to downgrade them when swv came to them as equals is when all the shadiness began be real people so who are y'all rocking with y'all rocking with swv or y'all rocking with um escape on what they saying or at the end of the day they both need to just put their differences aside and do it for the culture and like coco said coach don't pay her bills honey so she needs some coins she needs something coming out of this but i think if y'all really just sit down put egos aside and talk about how y'all can you know do these numbers y'all can come together and put on a great show period okay but y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below do y'all agree with some of the comments i had read or you got your own thoughts on the situation let me know in the comment section below